Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on The Merry Wives of Windsor and today we get to hear from Falstaff in Act 2, Scene 2. So Falstaff has no money at the moment and this is the same Falstaff from the Henry IVs and he's hanging out with the same people, um, Pistol and Nim and Bardolph, except he has no money to pay them anymore so he told Bardolph to go be a bartender and Bardolph was cool and then he asked Pistol and Nim to help him in his plot to try to sleep with Mistress Ford and Mistress Page because those ladies are in charge of the money in their households and he figures if he's sleeping with them he can get some of their money. But Pistol and Nim wanted nothing to do with that. They instead went and gave a heads up to Mr. Ford and Mr. Page that Falstaff was going to try to sleep with their wives. Mr. Page was like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Mr. Ford is now really suspicious and doubts that his wife will stay faithful to him, so he wants to now be introduced to Falstaff while he's in disguise as Brooke. That's yet to come, but that was at the end of Act 2, Scene 1, that we found all of that lovely stuff out. So in Act 2, Scene 2, We've got Falstaff chatting with Pistol, who did not want to deliver this letter, but Pistol is now asking Falstaff for money, because apparently Falstaff found a little bit of money somewhere, so he's asking for money, and Falstaff is like, no, I'm not giving you money, and Pistol's like, but, but aren't you going to share? Like, didn't you just have 15 shillings? And Falstaff says, reason, you rogue reason. Thinkst thou I'll endanger my soul gratis? At a word, hang no more about me. I am no gibbet for you. Go. A short knife and a throng to your manner of picked hatch. Go. <laughs> You'll not bear a letter for me, you rogue. <laughs> you stand upon your honor. Why, thou unconfinable baseness, it is as much as I can do to keep the terms of my honor precise. <laughs> I, 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 myself, sometimes, leaving the fear of heaven on the left hand and hiding mine honor in my necessity, am fain to shuffle, to hedge and to lurch, and yet you, rogue, will ensconce your rags, your catamountain looks, your red lettuce phrases, and your bold beating oaths under the shelter of your honor. You will not do it, you. So he's being a blowhard here really is what's going on. He's being, he's being big and loud and petty <laughs> towards Pistol. Pistol's asking for money and he's like, no, you think, you seriously think I'm going to give you money? Like go, go hang out in your whorehouse and do whatever it is that you do over there. If you want to pretend that you're the honorable one, like no, you are definitely not an honorable person and it's it's all I can do to keep my reputation intact while you're out running around doing all of these other things and then you wouldn't even deliver a letter for me? Really? You think I'm gonna give you money now? And Pistol's like, okay, okay, I back down. And then Robin comes in to say that Mr. Quickly is outside because Mr. Quickly wants to talk to Falstaff and we'll find out why tomorrow unless you remember the other stuff. I'm not going to give a whole other recap of everything that we've done so far. I want to keep this video short-ish if we can. So we'll get into the reason for Mistress Quickly's visit in tomorrow's monologue. I'll see you then. Mwah.